Shannon Sharp is one of the most successful tight ends the game of football has ever seen, and he was always a big character on game days. When he retired, he took his charisma to the media world, where he found a high level of success post-retirement. This is Shannon Sharp's story, how he landed a spot on a hit TV show and the events that led to him recently walking away. Sharp came from poor beginnings, growing up with his older brother Sterling, who was also a star in the NFL. Shannon's abilities as an athlete were clear from a young age. He was a high school All-State player in three different sports, including football and basketball, as well as setting a state record in the triple jump event. Despite excelling as an athlete, he only really got local attention and chose to attend Savannah State University in Savannah, Georgia. In college, he played football and basketball and competed as a track and field athlete too, once again highlighting Sharp's athletic abilities. He was a natural talent when it came to sports, but has admitted that he was a terrible student who barely graduated academically. Luckily for Shannon, his sporting abilities landed him a shot in the NFL. He was drafted by the Denver Broncos in the seventh round of the 1990 NFL Draft and would go on to be one of the most successful and arguably the best seventh round pick of all time. Shannon had a feeling the first round wasn't going to be an option for him because he hadn't had any contact from any teams in the buildup to the draft, but he did expect to land somewhere in the second or third round. When he didn't get the call as those rounds passed by, he was devastated, but his brother Sterling calmed him down and told him all he needed was a chance. That chance came from Denver in round seven, and Shannon now had an opportunity to go and prove himself once again at the highest level. He'd excelled in college, but Savannah State was a Division II school at the time, which could have impacted his draft stock when the time came. He was considered a bit of an in-betweener. He was six feet, two inches tall, and 230 pounds at the time, which teams believed was too big for a receiver and too small for a tight end. His NFL career in Denver got off to a slow start. He wasn't going to get a huge amount of opportunity as a seventh round pick until he proved himself, and after minor contributions in his first couple of years with the team, they switched him from wide receiver to tight end. The decision immediately paid off, with Sharp going from 22 receptions and 322 yards in 1991 to 53 receptions and 639 yards and his first Pro Bowl appearance after making the switch. Shannon had found his niche in the league, and from then on, his career quickly became highly successful. The Hall of Fame talent would go on to help the Broncos to two Super Bowl rings alongside Broncos star quarterback John Elway. He remained in Denver until 1999, accumulating four first-team All-Pro appearances, one second-team appearance, and seven straight trips to the Pro Bowl between 1992 and 1998. Sharp had three 1,000-yard seasons in four years in Denver. He had a career high in 1997 when he managed 1,107 receiving yards and 15.4 yards per catch and caught 10 touchdowns in a season twice during his time with the Broncos. He'd go from Denver to a short stint with the Baltimore Ravens, who were building a playoff caliber roster after joining the league as an expansion team in the 90s. As a league veteran, Sharp won a third Super Bowl ring with Baltimore and his eighth trip to the Pro Bowl in 2001. He would then return to Denver to finish out his career before retiring in 2003. Now, post-retirement, Shannon Sharp headed for the analyst scene. He joined CBS show The NFL Today, replacing Deion Sanders as a co-host and teaming up with the likes of Dan Marino, Boomer Esiason, and Bill Cowher. That was where his TV career got started post-retirement, and it led him to an opportunity with Fox Sports in 2016. By that time, Sharp had developed and gained a lot of experience as a TV personality. Early on, he'd received a lot of criticism for his speech and vocabulary, and he certainly wasn't free of haters. He joined Fox Sports and teamed up with Skip Bayless to form the show Undisputed, which premiered in September 2016. The premise of the show was for Shannon to debate popular topics with Skip Bayless, a controversial TV personality to say the least, often resulting in heated debates and arguments when the two disagreed on a certain topic. Undisputed was a pretty big hit in the sports TV world, and Sharp was earning $3 million per year for his contribution to the duo. Skip Bayless, on the other hand, was earning double his co-host, taking home $6 million per year. Skip had come over from the first take show, which he'd hosted with Stephen A. Smith. That show came to an end when ESPN didn't feel comfortable paying Skip what he felt he deserved, and Undisputed would be born under a new contract with Fox Sports. According to reports, it was Skip who pushed for Shannon Sharp to be his co-host, as he felt he was a strong debater and had a very different approach to the scene to Skip's own. 
The show brought in huge numbers, and at its peak, the two men shared the stage well and had some very interesting debates and thoughts on several popular topics. Sports fans got to know Shannon Sharp's character through the show, and he came out of his shell over time as a witty personality with a real passion for the sports and topics he was discussing with Skip every week. But in the past few months, things quickly started to deteriorate, and Shannon seemed to be growing visibly frustrated with Skip, who is always elaborate in his opinions and the way he debates on TV because that's what draws the crowd. Perhaps the most significant event on the show was the debate over the career of Tom Brady, who Skip Bayless is incredibly fond of and often supports and defends on the show. Skip took a shot at Shannon by saying that Brady was still playing at a high level at 45, while Shannon called the quits 10 years younger at 35. Besides the obvious of the two playing completely different positions and quarterbacks typically being able to play longer, plus the fact that Tom Brady is a complete enigma in most areas of the game of football, it was disrespectful to Shannon's accomplishments in the league and it didn't go down well. Shannon snapped back at Skip saying, You make it seem like I was a bum. I'm in the effing Hall of Fame. Okay, I so got three what? Super Bowls. So what? so what? He's way better than you were. Skip was clearly wrong in that specific situation, considering Skip had never played a down of pro football football in his life, Shannon was noticeably angered by the disrespect fired his way. The clip went viral and was all over social media for days, citing the biggest feud between the two since the show had started. Many believe that was the turning point in the relationship between the two. Shannon wasn't happy with how he'd been disrespected on air, and Skip isn't the type to ever back down from his comments. Not long after that, Skip took it too far with a tweet following the terrifying situation surrounding Buffalo Bills defensive back DeMar Hamlin, who lost consciousness on the field following a collision with T. Higgins of the Bengals and had to have emergency CPR to save his life there and then. The event shook the NFL world to its core, and we all watched in horror as it unfolded on live television. But Skip Bayless's tweet caught a lot of backlash. He tweeted that the game suddenly seemed irrelevant, despite it being a late-in-the-season clash between two of the league's best teams. And in response, people promptly reminded him that a man's life was at stake and the game was far from important at that moment. After the tweet, which Shannon Sharp took serious objection to, he didn't show up for the show. And when he made his return the following day, he opened with a monologue surrounding what had unfolded. Watching that game on Monday night, uh, what happened to DeMar Hamlin struck me a little different. It was a little close to home for Shannon, too, because his brother Sterling had his career cut short after a nasty blow caused him to be temporarily paralyzed on the field. Sterling later retired because of the severity of his injuries and the risk of re-injury, which could have cost him a place in the Hall of Fame. Shannon then continued to say, Skip tweeted something, and although I disagree with the tweet, and, and uh, hopefully uh, Skip would take it down. Well, yep. time out, time out. I'm not going to take it down because okay. I stand by but, what I tweeted. It was then that Shannon seemed to lose his cool, giving up on his monologue and beckoning to just move on with the show. Okay. I mean, I cannot even get through a monologue without you interrupting okay. me. Well, you could have came back, Skip. Well, I thought, Skip, just It was out. uncomfortable for both men and extremely awkward to watch. And once again, many had their thoughts and opinions on social media about the seemingly frayed relationship between the two. After a couple of months of intense and heated conversation live on the air, Shannon pulled Skip aside and sat him down to mend the relationship and get the show back on track. Many believed it worked extremely well, too, with some fans commenting that it was the best the show had ever been. Shannon spoke of his gratitude for what Skip had done for him in an interview on Sirius XM, noting that he appreciated Skip believing in him and allowing him to prove that he was more than just a football player. So things seemed to be heading back in the right direction. Fast forward to the summer of 2023, and it seems as though the show has run its course. Shannon has reportedly closed the door on continuing with the show and is even rumored to take his personality and his following to a rival network such as ESPN. Not only will he no longer be appearing on Undisputed, but his personal podcast, Club Shay Shay, which is also a big hit that is part of Shannon's deal with Fox Sports, will follow him wherever he decides to go. Shannon Sharp's next move is yet to be revealed, but the days of Skip and Shannon are over, and Undisputed won't be the same again. It was great to see the grand finale of Shannon making his farewell wishes in gratitude to the staff that helped him achieve his success and his closing words to Skip. Skip Bayless, mm. you fought for me, bro. Did I? I'm here because of you. A special moment shared by two strong-willed men. But the future looks to behold good things for both. The way Shannon and Skip closed the show was with class and respect, as it should be. They set an example of how things can be handled, even though different routes are ahead. Skip Bayless, I appreciate you, man. I love you, man. Ah! 
We greatly appreciate you watching to the end. Please smash the like button so that others may watch. And if you're so kind, please subscribe for more content about your favorite players and teams. Thank you for watching The Halftime Show. Ladies and gentlemen at home, thank you, thank you. You'll see me again somewhere. I just don't know where. Thank you so much for your support. Love you guys.